I have finally cracked the code how to make the best matcha at home. If I'm being completely honest, I never felt like I could make the perfect matcha latte. And when I ordered a matcha latte at like a cafe, those matchas were always so delicious and I never understood what I was doing wrong at home. So there are only two things that I've been doing differently. So first of all, I've been boiling water, but I let it sit down for a couple of minutes to cool down because apparently you're not supposed to put boiling hot water on your matcha powder because it can burn it and give it an unpleasant flavor and second of all i've been mixing my sweetener with my milk before i steam it i always used to put my maple syrup like right into the matcha tea and mix it with the whisk but it is way better to mix the sweetener in with the milk and guys i have been making matcha every day since I figured out this new recipe. I'm telling you this makes the biggest difference and now my matcha is truly amazing. But guys, next week I am getting my hair done and I am so excited. I feel like it's long overdue. My hair has gotten so long. I don't know, it's just not giving. I just feel like I need a bit of refresh. I'm gonna get some highlights. I'm not gonna tell you guys about my haircut because I'm gonna give you all the details in my next video because I'm gonna film the whole process. So yeah, I just wanted to tease a little bit that I'm I'm gonna get my hair done but you guys will see it in the next youtube video my skin desperately needs some skincare after the shower it always feels so tight and stiff when you haven't done your skincare i put up a question box on my instagram yesterday and i asked you guys to ask me questions so i could maybe do it now because i feel like it's been some time since we catched up okay first question do you think you will finish your studies in the future that's a good question and if you don't know my background i used to study business administration in iceland and on my second year i decided to go on an exchange in copenhagen and that's initially why i moved here i was supposed to move back home to iceland but you know i fell in love with copenhagen and i did not want to move back Back home to Iceland already I was just like this is my time I love it here so I kind of figured out a deal with my school in Iceland and I was able to write my bachelor thesis on my fourth semester it's a little bit complicated to explain I basically have finished two years of business administration and I have one year left and of course I would have wanted to just like get it over with and graduate but it was just like impossible for me to do it in Copenhagen I would have had to move back home to Iceland so I decided to take a break from my studies and here I am today I still haven't picked up my studies and I'm just living life and I'm so happy you know I think I think essentially life's all about doing what makes you happy and to be honest I am not quite sure if I am gonna study again. I was planning on doing a bit of gua sha with you guys while answering your questions because I feel like I've been very happy with my skin recently. It's been a bit more plump and more glowy and I think it's all thanks to the gua sha. But to be honest, I don't really have the time because I'm going to a lunch event. So I'm gonna do the gua sha in another video. I'm just gonna move straight into makeup. So no gua sha today but I'm having a bit of breakfast and that's actually one of the questions that I got what's your favorite breakfast if I'm being completely honest I'm not much of a breakfast girl and I'm not sure why I definitely prefer my dinners and lunch but I have found my like go-to breakfast my sister came to visit us over a month ago and I bought kefir for her because that's like her go-to breakfast and of course, I tried it with her, and guys, this is just the best thing ever. I like to add some chia pudding and some frozen organic blueberries, and of course, my homemade granola. And then I usually just mix it 
and I love that it turns this purple pinkish color. We used to buy Greek yogurt, but I just never really liked it, if I'm being honest. It was just kind of heavy on the stomach. I don't know, I didn't really like how it made me feel. And you can see that the kefir is more runny, and I just really love the more acidic, like sour flavor. It is so good. Okay, so many of these questions is like, is Copenhagen your city or would you like to move somewhere? And people are asking if I want to settle down in Copenhagen. So I'm gonna try and answer this question, even though I don't really know the answer to it. But to be honest, I think that I might be getting ready for the next chapter in my life. And like I've told you guys before, it is a dream of mine to move to Paris, but I don't know when it's gonna happen. Helge and I have been talking a lot about this and I think we would love to live there for maybe half a year and just see how we like it and meet new people and just experience something else because Copenhagen for me now is very homey and it's very comfortable. It is amazing here and I love it, but somehow I have this burning sensation in my body just to like explore the world and I'm just not ready to settle down anywhere. I just really want to try out many different things before, you know, life gets like too serious. I don't know. I don't even want my life to get too serious. I want to, you know, just have fun and enjoy life. I also just think it would be so much fun both for the content and just meeting new people in this industry. And yeah, I just think it would be amazing to move to Paris. Next question, three must have products in everyday makeup routine. First and foremost, eyelash curler. This is my ride or die. You guys know that I'm highly addicted to eyelash curlers, even though you can't be addicted. I bring it everywhere and I'm always just like, I just think it's the best. I love it. Next product I would say is a concealer. This one isn't amazing. I just ran out of my holy grail concealer. It's from Urban Decay. It's called Stay Naked but I've sadly been having some difficulties buying it. I don't know if they've stopped producing it or if it's just so popular, but it's almost impossible to buy it. So I'm actually considering if I need to find my new holy grail concealer. So if you guys have any recommendations on your favorite concealers to use under your eyes, I would be so thankful because I always just find it a bit tricky to pick out a concealer I've just always used the same ones. The third product, you guessed it, it's the Rare Beauty Liquid Blush in the color Happy. This is like a holy grail of mine. This blush is just so amazing and it lasts you for such a long time and it's so pigmented and I feel like it stays on the whole day. It just gives you the perfect flush of color in your cheeks. Oh, I love it. So if I were stranded on an island, these are the three products I would bring with me. I think this was the last question of the day, but I'm gonna answer some more of these questions on my Instagram. So make sure to go follow me on Instagram. I will try and do Q and A's on there more often. But guys, after the event, I'm gonna go with Helge to pick up our new camera. I am so excited. This camera is gonna make vlogging so much easier. My camera is quite big and I have another lens on my camera and I have a big microphone. You know, when I'm traveling, it is not very convenient to keep it in your bag. But with this new camera, it's gonna be way easier and I think it's just gonna be amazing. So I'm really excited to show you guys. We also need to run some errands. We're meeting with a brand and then I'm going to an agency. So I'm gonna bring you guys along. I am really excited to wear my new shirt from Opera Sport. It's just like the perfect classic striped shirt. I'm gonna try on these pants. They're quite baggy. I recently got a gift that had this lace bow on the packaging. I kept it because I thought it was kind of cute. And I was either thinking about putting it over my neck 
as a necklace I don't know hmm I'm not sure <laughs> it has some potential it kind of looks like a scarf if I'm being honest I don't know or I could wear it like a belt I'm feeling a little bit more comfortable with it over here I just feel like it adds a bit more details to this outfit otherwise it's gonna be very very simple I'm gonna try on this coat from Charlotte Simone oh it looks good and for my bag I'm gonna go with this white super cute bag that I thrifted in Amsterdam Helge just picked me up on his bike. We're gonna bike together to the city center. We have a few errands to run. We're going to some showrooms and to pick up our new camera. But it was really nice at the Cala Jade event. It was fun to catch up with the girls and we had some really nice food. But yeah, the clock is ticking. So we're gonna hurry up on our bikes. <laughs> I think oversized denim jackets are gonna be a bit more trendy this summer. Ooh. I like the puffy like sleeves. It feels a bit like a bomber jacket. And a white denim skirt that I'm gonna try on. just tried on this khaki shirt and I'm wearing this top and these pants super cute for summer well we were super lucky we got to pick out a few pieces both from Patrickson's showroom and then we also visited Mats Nörgat and it was really nice I'm so lucky to be able to tag along with Pista, I got some, got some items as well. Yeah. <laughs> we walked past some people who were giving out these uh, Fanta Zero Sugar. <laughs> it's nice to get some hydration. Oh, I don't like this. <laughs> I actually hate everything that is like Zero Sugar. It just tastes so fake to me. Anyways, we just got an email that we can go and pick up our new vlogging camera and we are so excited to unbox it and start using it. I think it's gonna be a game changer. Maybe I'm gonna be posting like twice a week now. <laughs> oh, no, I'm kidding, but <laughs> maybe, who knows? <laughs> I feel like a little kid. I am so excited to unbox the new camera. Moment of truth. I'm going to Paris soon with my girlfriends and I was a little bit skeptical if I was gonna film it because like I talked about earlier it is sometimes a bit tricky to be vlogging when you are traveling but this one is so compact this is not sponsored I bought this myself I just yeah wanted to show you guys because I am so excited about this comes in this very fancy case okay wow Ooh, guys this is the camera this is the whole entire unit. So I think my next YouTube video is going to be filmed on this bad boy. I'm still gonna use the camera that I'm currently using, but I think I'm gonna use this one a bit more when I'm traveling and stuff because it's just so compact and convenient. So I'm gonna be bringing this one with me when I'm traveling. Anyways, I am meeting my friend for dinner. We're going to a Japanese restaurant called Tokyo Restaurant. I've heard some great things about this place, but I've never tried it, so I'm excited. I'm just gonna chill for a bit 
and then I'm gonna go grab dinner with my friend. I am currently getting ready because I am meeting with my friend Thorin. We're gonna have some breakfast and then we're gonna go thrifting together. I just did my makeup and I'm trying to figure out what to do with my hair because as you can see, it is quite oily. So I think our only option is to do a slick back bun. It's also such a long time since I've worn a slick back bun and it always makes you feel so put together and so classy. So I'm gonna show you guys how I do my slick back bun. I'm gonna use this comb. It has a very pointy thingy so I can make a very sharp cut. I think that is quite crucial if you're doing a slick back bun. It needs to be very like sharp in my opinion. I feel like a bit of dry shampoo is necessary otherwise my slick back bun is gonna look a bit greasy so. Now I'm gonna put it in a ponytail and I'm gonna use this brush to make everything super seamless and smooth. And now we need to secure everything with a styling cream. I'm using this one from Marianila and I just take a bit and mix it in between my hands. And then I go over with my brush I think it's looking pretty good. And now I'm just gonna take the ponytail and twist it and make a ballerina bun. It's been a while, but it's actually really cute. I'm gonna wear this long sleeve. It's kind of like a dress, but I'm wearing it on top of these baggy jeans from weekday. I will link everything that I'm wearing down below. I am really excited about wearing this jacket that I recently bought off of Facebook Marketplace. I think it is so cool and it was very cheap actually. I'm gonna see how it fits with this outfit. Ooh. For my back, I am thinking about wearing this one again. I'm just trying to be a bit more bold with my outfits. Before I used to like maybe play it safe with a black bag, but to be honest, a black bag wouldn't really even fit with this outfit. And I just feel like this white bag is gonna make it a little bit more poppin'. For my shoes, I'm just gonna wear these Vagabond boots that I literally wear every single day. I'm actually trying to find a new pair of shoes so I don't only wear these ones, but these are just so comfortable and I feel like they just go with everything. So I think I am ready to head out the door to go grab some breakfast. We're going to a place called Etc. I've been wanting to go there for such a long time and I'm very excited. I think the food there is gonna be amazing. So let's see. The food at Etc. was incredible and it was also very affordable. I'm honestly shocked. It's very, very small, very crowded, but oh my God, I'm gonna go there again. It was delicious. Thorin had granola and I tried like bun with pickles and cream cheese. I don't know, it was just amazing. We are gonna go on a little stroll and go thrifting. Yeah, we are gonna go and uh, see if we can find some cool vintage pieces. I ended 
up buying the three items that I tried on at Wieland store. Really happy! I really like this sweater. It's really cute, but it's like 47 euros. It is so expensive to thrift in Copenhagen. I would maybe buy it if it was like 10 euros, but I think 47 euros is way too much for this sweater. So it's a no for me. Okay, there's another sweater. It's the same price, but somehow this one is a bit thicker. And I also like this one a lot more. It is still very pricey, but I just think it's so cool. You can't really see the color, but it's like this kind of mauve pink. I don't know. It is so cool and I love the shape. I love the turtleneck thinking if I should get it, even though it's a bit pricey, but it's so cute. Thorin just went home, so I'm strolling here by myself. It is quite sunny, but it's also very windy and it's quite cold. Helge is gonna come and meet me. We're gonna have some coffee. I haven't had my cup of coffee today. I'm really craving some cappuccino and maybe some sweets. I don't know, maybe a cake, a cookie or something nice. I kind of wanted to show you guys what I got from the vintage stores. I'm gonna do it very quickly, otherwise this video is gonna be way too long. First off is this blue, no blue, <laughs> this pink sweater. I love how the turtleneck just like sticks up. I think it's so cool. I bought another sweater. The material is so cute, it's very like fluffy. It smells really bad. It's like a laundry detergent and I'm quite sensitive to those smells. So I will have to air it out like outside or something. I think it's so, so cute. I think this is gonna be like perfect for spring. Either wear it like open or I can also close it. But I'm definitely also just gonna be wearing it at home when I just wanna have a cozy time, you know? I got this striped fitted blazer. This one is just so gorgeous. I'm definitely gonna bring this one with me to Paris. And then lastly, I got this top. I don't know if you can see the details. And then it has kind of like an inbuilt scarf or a tie. So this is what it looks like. Thorin and I were trying to figure out whether we liked it or not. And we realized that we don't like it when we like knot it in the front. It feels a bit weird. But if I do it like this, it looks way more stunning. So yeah, that was everything that I got. I just took a shower and I changed into my comfy outfit. Oh, hello, hello. We are gonna have a pizza night. We have sourdough pizza dough over here. We truly make the best pizzas ever <laughs> because we have the pizza oven. I have showed it before, but if you're new here, then you might not know. But yeah, we have like a pizza oven. It is just delicious. We're gonna make two of our favorite pizzas. We're gonna make a pepperoni pizza with homemade hot honey. It's, it's the best. It's so freaking good. I'm gonna show you guys how to make it. It is so simple. And then we are gonna make a pizza with mascarpone and potatoes mm -hmm. and Rosmarin? Rosmarin. Rosemary. <laughs> you say like rosmarin in uh, Icelandic or rosmarin? Yeah. <laughs> 
So yeah, I'm very excited to have a cozy evening. We bought some ice cream <laughs> and we're gonna watch a movie in our sofa. I'm like the pizza master mm. and Helge is like the... Pizza oven guy. <laughs> <laughs> I make sure we don't burn the pizzas. He's like out on the balcony, like, uh, you know, making sure that the pizza is getting cooked properly. <laughs> I'm sticking to the dough making. I actually worked at a pizza place when I was like, 17 mm -hmm. so I have like some I'm experience I have some experience and I'm very very talented at like <laughs> kneading the dough so yeah <laughs>